Good morning children. Today we shall learn about fuel and how to control fire. We burn substances like petrol, charcoal, diesel, kerosene etc. to produce heat for domestic purposes like cooking or for industrial purposes. We call them fuel. But which is the fuel which is best? How to choose the right fuel? When we choose a fuel, we consider its cost, how much energy it produces and, and what we are going to use it for. For example, kerosene is a good fuel, LPG produces more energy than kerosene and it is more cost effective. So people prefer LPG over kerosene. You know how good a fuel is, is judged from its calorific value. The amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel is called its calorific value. The calorific value of a fuel is expressed in a unit called kilojoule per kg, kj per kg in short. So kilojoule short form is small k and capital J. For example, calorific value of wood is in the range of 17,000 to 22,000 kilojoules per kg. Now look at the calorific value of different fuels. Cow dung cake is very cheap but if you can see it has very low calorific value which is around 6000 to 8000 kilojoule per kg. Kerosene on the other hand has very high calorific value much higher than the wood around 45000 kilojoules per kg. LPG is even better. It produces 55,000 kilojoules of energy per kg. So, LPG seems to be the best choice. The biogas made from organic waste also has high calorific value and it is cheap too. But while choosing fuel, we need to think about one more factor, which is its effect on the environment. Burning of kerosene, petrol, diesel, wood etc. produce too much of carbon dioxide which is causing global warming. These produce carbon monoxide which is a toxic gas and cause respiratory problems. Carbon fuel like wood, coal, charcoal, petroleum etc release unburnt carbon particles in air which may cause respiratory disease like asthma. When we burn coal, diesel, sulfur dioxide is produced which is a suffocating gas. Petrol engines produce oxides of nitrogen. All these gases get dissolved into the rainwater and form acid. Thus Acid rains occur. Acid rain is harmful for the building crops and it also reduces fertility of the soil. But LPG and CNG produce these harmful products that is carbon monoxide in very small quantity. Hence they are said to be eco-friendly. Now we know about fuel but what to do? If fuel causes fire incidents, fire can be controlled by removing one or more requirements essential for producing fire. For example, we can cut off the supply of oxygen. Generally, we first think of water to extinguish fire. This works well when wood, paper, fabric etc. are on fire. But we cannot use water in case 
electronics, electric appliances are involved. If anyone tries to pour water on burning electric wire, he may get electric shock. So, carbon dioxide fire extinguisher is ideal for such cases involving electrical equipments. This type of fire extinguisher contains a mixture of liquid and carbon dioxide. A non-inflammable gas. It is stored at extremely high pressure. When we break the seal and release the pressure, the liquid turns into gas and expands and shoots out really fast. It forms a cloud-like blanket around the fire and cuts off oxygen supply. The sudden expansion of gas cools the air and brings down the temperature of the fuel. Water is also not suitable for fires involving oil, petrol, etc. As water is heavier than oil and petrol, it would sink below and oil would keep burning above it. In such cases, dry chemical extinguishers are used. It sprays fine powder like chemicals which blankets the fire. It sprays sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, etc. which produce carbon dioxide when in contact of fire and extinguishes the fire. So to summarize what we learned today, fuel efficiency is expressed in terms of its calorific value which is expressed in the units of kilojoule per kg. Fuels differ in their efficiency and cost. An ideal fuel is cheap, readily available, readily combustible and easy to transport. It has high calorific value. It does not produce gases or residues that pollute the environment. Lastly, in case of fire, use water when wood, paper, fabric etc. are on fire. Use carbon dioxide fire extinguisher to control fires involving electrical equipment. Use dry chemical extinguisher to control fires involving petrol, oils etc. That's all for now. Bye bye children.